out by saying, uh, very importantly, uh, that he had supported this investigation all along. He was all for uh, protecting Robert Mueller as he went through the process and saw it to the very end. That said, he said when it comes to the FISA warrant, the Clinton campaign, the counterintelligence investigation, he said it's been swept under the rug except by a few Republicans. Those days are over. Trey Gowdy joins us now, a Fox News contributor and former chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Uh, Trey, you've been listening to this along with us. Uh, he went on to explain to those reporters that the rule of law applies to Democrats and Republicans equally here. He explained why it's time to take a look at what he called the other side of this story. What did you take away from what you just heard there from the senator? Uh, well, Lindsey's right. Um, there are some House Republicans that have been looking for the past 12 months at the FISA process, the uh, origination of the FBI investigation in July of 2016. Uh, we were ridiculed by our Democrat colleagues and, quite frankly, by most people in the media for daring to ask how Jim Comey could have possibly cleared Hillary Clinton before she was interviewed. Uh, Democrats didn't want any part of that. So I am glad that Senator Graham and his uh, Judiciary Committee is going to look at it. He's exactly right. The lady wears a blindfold. She's not a Republican. She's not a Democrat. As an American, you should want a Department of Justice and an FBI that you can have confidence in. But Sandra, if anyone listening to that press conference wants to know why so many of my fellow citizens have so little confidence in the media, after two years and finding no evidence of conspiracy or coordination, the first three questions were not about that. They weren't about the origin of the investigation. It was about obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. Not a one, not one question. There was three questions about obstruction and one about whether or not Lindsay should hold a campaign event in Florida. Nothing about the past 25 years. Uh, two, two years, 25 million dollars, 500 witness interviews. No media inquiries about that. It reminds you of the, this picture that stood out to all of us. James Comey tweeting out a picture of him standing in the forest with the title, So Many Questions, to which Lindsey Graham retweeted with the reply, Could not agree more. See you soon. It leaves us wondering what is next as far as further investigations, where exactly he's going to go with that. What he did confirm at the podium just now, Trey, is that William Barr uh, should testify, he said. Um, as far as whether Robert Mueller will be put on the stand, he said uh, he's going to leave it up to, to William Barr. What, what, what does happen next, Trey? Yeah, I, talk, I was with Lindsey all day yesterday and talked to him last night after the Comey tweet came out. I, I, somebody needs to take Comey's Twitter account away from him. Someone who um, hates the president as much as he does, and the president is cleared on any, even a scintilla of evidence of collusion with the Russians. Keep in mind, Sandra, the, the Barr letter said despite multiple offers by the Russians, it entries into the Trump campaign. Mm -hmm. They still didn't do it, um, and, uh, and Comey is not satisfied. Lindsey's going to bring Comey. I'm sure he's going to bring Barr. Where I disagree a little bit with Lindsey is on whether or not this report should be made public. Uh, the Department of Justice answers true-false questions. Mm. Should you be indicted? Should you not be indicted? They don't write reports about other misconduct that doesn't rise to the criminal level, and they don't do oppo research on people that we don't like. That's okay. part of how we got where we are now is the FBI and the DOJ were given oppo research by Fusion GPS to then allow Adam Schiff and Swalwell and he's got so and, many and, questions and Castro. Yeah, so Trey Gowdy, I got I have to leave it there. I want to get to Brett Hume. Trey Gowdy, thank you for standing by through that with us.